Hello and welcome to Mobile Gaming News Weekly. We are the gaming on phone team that specializes in bringing the mobile gaming news to your feet at the earliest availability. The start of the week, Vikings Valhalla, a new strategy game based on MGM Television and Netflix's popular series, will release exclusively for Netflix subscribers starting in 2023. Players will assume the role of ruthless Viking clan leaders and fortify formidable settlements. They will start battles and spread their influence over the continent as their support base increases. Carving out a position in the constantly shifting power dynamics will take strength, cunning and creativity. The game is being developed by Emerald City Games and Tilting Point. Apart from this, two more news are there from Netflix. Netflix Games have announced that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge will be gearing up for its mobile release in 2023. Fledigious, a subsidiary of Fragbyte Group AB, is reportedly to be in contract with Netflix for the development of the game for the mobile platforms. And the other game is Kentucky Route Zero. The game is developed by Cardboard Computer and published by Annapurna Interactive, is now available to be played on mobile devices as part of Netflix's venture into the mobile gaming industry. Moving forward, Rogue Company's mobile version was announced by high risk Studios a little more than a year ago, and now we have some official announcements to hype players up for the game's release. The Rogue Company Elite experience was created specifically with mobile gamers in mind. Rogue Company Elite comes to mobile with fully customizable mobile-friendly control schemes, high-resolution and fidelity graphics, as well as a 120fps option, with a focus on amazing gunplay and in-the-moment action. hi res Studio revealed that the mobile version of Rogue Company, officially called Rogue Company Elite, is now available for pre-registration for Android and iOS devices. Moving next, Pickpock, the developer and publisher of the famous mobile game Into the Dead while celebrating its 10th year anniversary, announced a sequel to the game Into the Dead 3. Into the Dead is known for its post-apocalyptic zombie-ridden world where all hope is lost and violence is the only means to survival. Into the Dead 3 will continue the storyline of Into the Dead 2. However, Pickpock has also promised to add new heart-pounding missions, more powerful weapons, challenging glow and even a creepier environment than the last. Next up, Just Cause, the beloved gaming franchise on PC and console by Square Enix, had announced its arrival on mobile platforms back in 2021. However, according to recent news, the much-awaited Just Cause mobile release just got delayed until further announcement. The last time when the game was delayed was due to the pandemic and its adverse effect on the industry. However, the recent delay might be because of enhancements in the game's mechanics and possibly to add some more chaos to the mix. Last but not the least, the popular fantasy PC MMORPG title Revelation is now available for pre-registration as Revelation Infinite Journey on mobile globally. The global version of the game is being published by WNG Corporations, whereas the Korean version is being taken care of by Netis Games Global. As for the developers, Netis Games Revelation Infinite Journey offers an alternate world for the players where they can dictate and personalize everything. In other words, it is an alternate immersive universe where players can form their own world. With pre-registration live globally, the game is also gearing up for a closed beta in the Southeast Asia region. That wraps it up for this weekly updates. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future news and updates.